Hey y'all, welcome back for another overpriced, over budget Walmart grocery pickup haul <laughs> for our family of five. It seems to be the theme lately. I don't know. It's been about a week and a half since we got groceries this time though. So a little longer, like we try to get it once a week and did go over a couple days and the kids were out on a like three day break as well. So it was the weekend plus three day break. And so we were just eating a lot, I guess. <laughs> they like to snack a lot and so do I. So I don't I mean, we do limit snacks a little bit, but I like to snack too. Grit says I go snack a lacking, <laughs> and so does he. I can't exactly quite remember exactly how much it was because there were some substitutions. I don't think they were out of anything. They just substituted some things and it changed the price a little bit. Um, so when I go through, I'll show you the substitutions that they made and I will put the total price on the screen here, what we spent on groceries and our household budget goods as well. We have a separate little budget for that. We are a family of five. We've got three boys, six, four, and 10 months old. So yeah, we're staying busy around here. We got full blown sports going on with both of them, basketball. Owen is getting into everything. He's obsessed with hair. I usually have it up in a ponytail. I just took it down for the video because he is pulling it out nonstop. That and my glasses are his favorite toys. <laughs> yeah, so that's like our little update, I guess. And I've got paint on my hands, I believe. Well, I might've got most of it washed off. We're currently painting our bathroom. I've just got to finish up some trim and then that's done. We hadn't, we didn't paint it when we moved in a few years ago. So it is long overdue. Um, and then it is a beautiful day today. So as soon as I'm done with this, we're just probably gonna spend the majority of the day outside. I am sweating from bringing everything in. So I'll go ahead and turn you around and show you everything that we got for the week and then also share the meal plan after I show you everything. Okay, got our table most of the way full, but I'm telling y'all, it does not ever look like the price that it should be anymore for groceries. And I know we spent about $30 maybe on baby food and everything. So in the grand scheme of things, I mean, yeah, that's a big chunk. That's gonna last us a couple of weeks though. So I don't know, it just seems little expensive i know we do buy quite a bit of convenience foods so it's all right we'll get around to getting tighter on our budget eventually i do like i've been saying want to get back to like some public deals and really like maybe not full-blown couponing because that takes too long for me right now but at least you know stocking up on the bogo deals on the weeks that they have those on things that we want and that sort of thing so that's what we're going to try to do moving forward it's just i have every intention to always and it just never happens so Let's go ahead and get into it. Back here we got blueberry bagels. I love these kind. And a loaf of bread. Yogurts for the boys. A big thing of country crock. Gotta be careful saying that too fast. <laughs> and then I saw this orange juice. It said, um, this is the brand we always get normally anyway, but no pulp. And then it said low acid. And I have horrible like esophagus stuff ever since being pregnant three times. It just, it hates me. So even with taking Prilosec, Pretty often I do love orange juice but I haven't had it in a long time but mainly I got orange juice because Porter requested it but I'm probably gonna try it too and see if it don't burn me up <laughs> if you have any experience with that let me know in the comments down below all the baby foods there were several different substitutions on baby food so I really don't even know what we got I know we got some meat ones some like breakfasty ones with oatmeal and fruit in it got his favorites like sweet potato um, I'm not even sure what else butternut squash green beans he really likes some of these pouches. Uh, they were out of a couple of the kinds that he really likes though, like apple and carrot. But we got the peach one, banana pumpkin. He really, really likes this one. It's the purple carrot, blueberry pear. And then a few of the snacks, we got yogurt melts, two different kinds, <laughs> and the puffs, and some little crunchies here. The mixed berry cream cheese for the blueberry bagels. I ran out of my stock of cream cheese and didn't have cream cheese last week to make my sausage bake that I wanted to make. So I went ahead and got two two packs of cream cheese. So we got four blocks to keep in the fridge. Well, three after I make my recipe. <laughs> got some string cheese. Me and Porter love that. Some more butter sticks. Some cottage cheese. It's the 2% small curd. That's what I like. I think it's small curd. Yeah, small curd. And 18 count eggs. I really couldn't remember if I got this last week or not. And I forgot to check, the, or I didn't forget to check the fridge. I was doing this in bed last night and I was not getting up to go check. So I just got another pack just in case. Or I got it for the first time. I don't know. Still don't know. 
got eight ounce block of cheese. I like to cut this up and snack on that with some of the almonds that I get. I get like these honey roasted almonds or something like that. And that's just a really good snack or a side for lunch for me. And then some of these easy freezer veggies. Um, we got, let's see, Tuscan seasoned broccoli. I don't know if I told you guys this, but for a while we didn't get it because one time we got one of these, I'm sure it was just a random fluke and probably does not happen that often, but we got one of these and we have been loving it. And then we made it for supper one night and we we're all like, this tastes different. We realized there was absolutely no seasoning on it whatsoever. So we were just having plain steamed broccoli, which okay, but we, you know, we buy it because it's tastes yummy with the Tuscan season blend on it or whatever it is. Um, and that one did not have anything on it. So we were just eating it plain. <laughs> also got this one for Travis to try. Um, he wanted the cheesy, well, I don't I say he wanted, he didn't want it. He just wanted me to pick out some veggies for him that were easy. And so I got the cheesy rice and broccoli lightly sauce. I thought I love okra, but I don't like, I mean, I don't mind making it myself, but in this season, we are trying easy things. And I just thought this was a good thing to try. I'm gonna try it out and see if we like it. Air fried, lightly breaded okra. So I assume that I just make this in the air fryer and it will be super simple. We shall see. Got some celery sticks for Grant to take for lunches or to have with a meal here. Some hard boiled eggs. This is my cheap way of making deviled eggs, really simple. Um, I know it doesn't take that long to stick some in the Instant Pot or make them yourself, but you know, it takes even less time to get some already hard boiled eggs. So I got two six counts of those. Three Honeycrisp apples. This is one of the substitutions. I'd ordered peach and I kind of figured it was probably out of season for the most part. So I was kind of surprised that it was even on the app, but they substituted for a nectarine, I believe. And then I got one avocado. Gonna let Owen have some. Last time, two times I've tried avocado with him. He hated it and he spit it out. And then we've got some of these stir fry veggies. This was another substitution. We ordered the Asian style and it comes with like the sauce pack pouch inside, which sounds really yummy. Yeah. <laughs> and, but this one is the teriyaki and I'm pretty sure Asian probably would have been better. This is going to be with one of our meals one night. I don't eat mushrooms. So I don't even know. I don't know. I'm just going to eat it around it, I guess. But Travis will like that most likely. And then some of these strawberries, they look pretty good. Got some thin sliced chicken breast here. And then another thing we got is this applewood smoked bacon. Last time we had this one, I don't know. I mean, we've been getting these uh, pork tenderloins for years, the Smithfield brand, but I don't think we had ever tried that one until last time. It was our favorite. It was so good. Got our regular milk and then almond milk. I also tried to get chocolate almond milk because I saw Tiffany, our small town life, had it in hers and I thought the boys would really like it because they actually do like the almond milk. Um, but ours was out of it, so couldn't get that. Then got some Nutri-Grain bars, the mixed berry kind, Powerades, the blue ones. Some of these cream sickles, it's a six count, I believe, because they're 100 calories. We're kind of, me and Travis are both kind of like watching our calories a little bit. Not, or just, you know, watching what we eat, not overeating as much, because um, we tend to do that. And so, just some being a little more mindful of the kind of snacks I'm buying and that sort of thing. And then we got some Korea Suns for the boys. Life cereal back here, everybody in the house likes that. Except me, I'm stuck on the Crave cereal, so. Yes, we do have Crave cereal in this grocery haul as well. <laughs> Travis wanted me to get some of these frozen beef burgers, so I got those. Y'all, I mentioned this before in a video, these are so, so good and addicting, so I probably shouldn't have got them if I'm watching my calories, because I could eat way too many. But I got them again, and I'm sure as soon as this video is done, I'm gonna be turning off the camera and snacking on a few of those, so. Yeah. <laughs> I got two things of the um, easy microwavable mashed potatoes to keep on hand in the pantry. We were out of that. And then they've not been, had the uh, muffin mix that we like for a while now. So I got the Krusty's brand of chocolate chunk muffins. But I usually like those just cheapy muffin mixes. They work great. A few non-groceries here. These Shout color catchers. We really like these because we are not taking the time to separate our towels, whites, colors, all that. So. If anytime I get like some new clothes or something, um, new towels, or just think something might bleed, then I put one of these in there. Sometimes, depending on what it is, maybe two. 
and it works wonders we've never had any issues with that and then i also needed some more deodorant got a two pack of these the shower clean and this was a substitution it i'd ordered some kind of citrusy one i don't remember and they substitute it for this pretty sure it's leaking though and that's probably my fault because i dropped it on the way in <laughs> and then also got one of these i don't know why i got two separate brands but it did this one's actually cheaper i'm pretty sure um i don't know why i did that and i usually keep one in there i about said the refrigerator i keep one under the sink in the kitchen and then one under our bathroom sink for refills these flowers back here are still kicking from valentine's day is that not awesome i just these were just dollar cheap dollar general flowers that i got we ended up doing um i had this idea to like do a little candlelight dinner with the whole family and it was really cute and they loved it they thought it was so fun and i got them just like a couple little craft things and we literally got takeout chick-fil-a for us and mcdonald's for them i'm pretty sure that's what we did i think we got a mcdonald's it might have been chick-fil-a for them too I really can't remember either way <laughs> that's what we did and they just thought it was the funnest thing ever so you can do something super simple and still make their day this is not focusing there we go i got some everything bagel seasoning mine was pretty old so i needed to renew that <laughs> got some different types of cans just to keep on hand in the pantry i also meant to grab some black beans but i forgot Actually, I'd had them in my cart and then my Walmart app logged me out and deleted everything I had in my cart and it was so aggravating. But anyway, <laughs> got two cans of sweet peas, a Rotel, one diced basil, garlic, and oregano. That's for a certain type of recipe that we make pretty often. And then some petite diced tomatoes also to keep on hand. Last few things. So I got two boxes of these peanut butter chewy dips. They're really good. I also meant to grab some just normal granola bars, but I forgot and porter already <laughs> had me open these for him to have a couple of those but it's just the animal cookies you know the dipped ones there are extra good and some last but not least we got some white cheddar cheeto puffs that me and the boys all love but it's only an eight count bag they were out of the actual bags of those so settled for some of those and that is all the groceries now i'll show you the meal plan okay last but not least we've got the meal plan here y'all my hair didn't even make it through the whole grocery haul i've already put it up i'm sweating we're playing that game of like how long can you wait to turn on the air <laughs> i think it's time um okay we've got on the menu we're gonna do air fried potato onion pepper blend type thing um just stick it all in the air fryer and cook it that way season it a little bit with pork loin and then blts and chips didn't happen last week so we are going to do blts again all the ingredients that i got for that last week are still good we didn't plan very well last week with their ball games it was like the first week that they had started so gotta plan a little bit better because we ate out a couple extra times um sausage bake did not happen last week because i forgot the cream cheese so we're making that with some eggs one night Pigs in a blanket with that air fried okra is what we plan to do. And then probably one more side to go along with that. Um, we usually like to do mac and cheese, but I think we're actually out of that. And then we're gonna do some of that thinly sliced chicken breast with stir fry veggies and some rice. That's gonna be a meal for a night. And I think that is it other than our normal takeout and fin for yourself night. Fin for yourself just means basically it could be leftovers, a peanut butter sandwich, cereal sometimes just whatever we can come up with so i think that's going to be it for the meal plan and the video let me know your all's meal plan in the uh, comments down below if you want to give me some new ideas that'd be good some easy cheap ones is my go-to right now so if you made it to the end of the video y'all are awesome i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here make sure to subscribe so you see our weekly grocery hauls Hopefully they'll get a little bit more reined in on the budget. We're still deciding where our budget needs to be realistically right now with the price of groceries going up, but that's what we plan to do. So now we're going to get all these groceries put up and probably head outside to play on this random warm day when it should usually be snowing this time of the year. <laughs> but we are enjoying it and not complaining. That's going to be it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.